Come on, Mr. Duck, said Cow. You're it. The water got wild, the scenery got crowded, and the peace and quiet? It was gone. <laughs> but now he has lots of friends. <laughs> to swim in the pond. Mr. Duck tapped. He flapped. He totally snapped. Quack! And somebody got the message. <laughs> Perhaps we've overstayed our welcome, said Chick. Oh, said the other animals. Out, out! Out of my pond, cried Mr. Duck. This time I mean business. So sorry. My apologies. Goodbye for good, said Mr. Duck. Sorry to have bothered you, said Chick. Thanks for letting us swim in your pond. Alone at last, Mr. Duck returned to his routine. He stretched his wings. There was no splashy belly flopping. He fluffed his feathers. There was no annoying water ballet. He glided across the perfectly still water. There was certainly no rowdy round of Marco Polo. Ah, said Duck. It's so peaceful, so quiet, and just the way I like it. On Monday, quiet. On Tuesday, very quiet. On Wednesday, peaceful. On Thursday, very peaceful. On Friday, yawn. On Saturday, Mr. Duck twiddled his feathers, peacefully and quietly, of course. And on Sunday, Mr. Duck had a plan. What is Mr. Duck going to paint on this sign? Let's see. These days, Mr. Duck still loves to stretch at six o'clock. He still loves to fluff his feathers at seven o'clock. He still loves to glide across the perfectly still water at precisely 8.01. But sometimes life calls for a little noise. What did he write on the sign? Noise welcome <laughs> from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. <laughs> Especially with friends. <laughs> 